Hello students, today in our video we're going to look at section 3.6 which is proportional and non-proportional relationships. So we're going to look at different things, tables, graphs, equations, function notation, and see if we can tell if those functions or equations create a proportional relationship or a non-proportional relationship. And we're going to create a chart and compare the two. So if you will quickly create a little t-chart, it's probably going to take up most of the page, maybe half the page, something. So, um, and we're going to talk about the difference between proportional and non-proportional when we're looking at the different representations of functions, okay? So let's first start with an equation, okay? A proportional equation is going to look something like y equals mx, okay? Because a proportional relationship passes through, that's g, the origin. And if you look at the function y equals mx, you see that there's no plus b. So the plus b would be 0, which means the y-intercept is 0, which means it passes through the origin. So anytime you see a, an equation that just says y equals mx, there's no plus or minus any other number, then you know that's a proportional relationship, just like direct variation, which was proportional. Okay, And it passes through the origin. Okay, so if I have a graph, I know that whatever line I'm going to have is going to pass through the origin, and that's going to be a proportional relationship. So any line that passes through the origin creates a proportional relationship. Now let's look at the contrast of that. In a non-proportional relationship, we're going to have an equation that looks like y equals mx plus b. There's always going to be a plus or a minus because you have a y-intercept that is not the origin. So we're going to have something different, okay? It also does not, and I'm going to capitalize not, pass through the origin. So when I'm looking on a graph, I might see something like this, and if I have a line that does not pass through the origin, then I know that that's a non-proportional relationship. Okay? So we've talked about the equation, we've talked about what it looks like on a graph, and the last thing we're going to look at is what it looks like in a table. Okay, so I'm going to draw a quick table with a couple of points on here. I'll do my x and my y, and I'm going to do 2, 4, 6, <clears throat> 8, and I'm going to do 12, 24, 36 and 48. There are a couple of ways to see if this is proportional. First of all, pick any two points and see if they're proportional. Okay, so I'm going to pick two, two comma 12 and four comma 24, and let's see if they're proportional. If I do two times 24, I get 48, and if I do four times 12, I get 48. Well, that actually does set up a proportion that's equivalent, so we know that this table is proportional. The other thing you can look at is if you take the every y over x and you get the same simplified value, then it's also proportional. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 24 divided by 4 is 6, 36 divided by 6 is 6, and 48 divided by 8 is 6. All of those were the same, so that makes it proportional. Now let's look at a table that would be non-proportional. Give me an x and a y, and let's say we have 3 five, seven, and nine, and we have eight, 10, 12, and 14. Okay, so three comma eight, five comma 10, seven comma 12, nine comma 14. It is a linear relationship, so um, we have to figure out then, is it proportional or not? So let's try the proportion thing. Uh, let's take, oh, I forgot my lines. Let's take three, eight, and five, 10. And let's just set up a quick proportion. 3 times 10 is 30, and 5 times 8 is 40. I, I hope you remember when we set up proportions and we solve proportions, we cross multiply to see if the proportions are equivalent. That's what I just did. 3 times 10 is 30, 5 times 8 is 40. It's not proportional. I can check also to see if my y over my x is the same for each. I have 8 over 3 and 10 over 5. Well, 8 over 3 does not equal to 10 over 5 in any simplest form. So we can tell that this table is non-proportional. Okay? 
you need to be able to quickly look at something and do maybe a calculation or two to figure out if it's proportional or non-proportional. That's what it's going to be asking you. So here are your practice problems for this video. I know you're shocked. The video is short. You have six practice problems because the video is so short. In front of each number, write P if you think the relationship is proportional, and P if you think the relationship is not proportional. Take a picture of your practice problems, submit it through Edmodo.